All story, no filler, hard mode, chapter four. Let's get into it. All right, chapter four also has two boss fights similar to chapter three. Uh, the first boss fight is against Terror of the Deep. You get to choose your party for this one. So we're going to go with Cloud, Barret, and Aerith. The second boss fight in the chapter is against Roche, where it's a one-on-one -on -one fight with Cloud. So we'll have a different character build for that. But we're going to do the Terror of the Deep materia and equipment breakdown right now. So for Cloud, he's going to have the Igneous Saber again, Cetrian Armlet, Full Throttle Wrist Guards. For Materia, Elemental with Lightning, because that is what the Terror of the Deep is weak against. So all of Cloud's attacks will be lightning based. Next up, we have HP up, MP up, like pretty much every character is going to have. First Strike, Spirit up, and Kujata as the Materia or the Summon. And finally, we have magnify materia with time so the cloud can cast haste on the whole party enemy skill chakra steadfast block precision defense atb stagger materia and magic up to increase that lightning for the weapon skills he has altruistic buff max hp plus 200 enhanced magic guard and limit gauge stagger next up is barrett with the battle cry enhanced varvados bracelet and fortitude ring for materia he's gonna have elemental with lightning similar to cloud so all of his basic attacks are all going to be lightning based hp up mp up steadfast block precision defense with alexander as his summon finally atb stagger materia strength up revival healing and chakra for weapon skills overload overcharge atb charge up weapon ability atb recovery and massive recharge and finally for Aerith, she's going to use the Plumose Rod again, Cetrin Bracer, Circlet as her accessory. For Materia, she's going to have Magic Efficiency Materia with Healing. So she's going to be our main healer, as long as we can keep her alive. HP Up, MP Up, Steadfast Block, Precision Defense Focus Materia, Phoenix as her Summon, Magic Focus Materia, and Lightning and Wind Materia. We're not going to use Wind, but you get a little bit of a boost in MP when you use this one instead of just the plain Lightning. Uh, Spirit Up, Vitality Up, Speed Up, First Strike Materia with Prayer and ATB Boost Materia. For Whippin' Skills, she's rocking the Max HP plus 200, the Enduring Ward, Ward Shift Mastery, and finally, Enhanced Tempest. So that's our character builds. And I guess, yeah, we'll uh, get into the story now. So where we left off, we just got to the Junon region. Lots of other uh, side quests and mini games and stuff to do here. It is actually, <laughs> I hear you, Barrett side quests <laughs> it's actually quite a large area and i'm pretty sure you don't need to venture to any of this if you're doing the main story only so we're going right to here skipping over the beautiful terrain and everything that is junon so all of this is junon everything above us below is under junon little more than an impoverished fishing village Kind of like Midgar. Vegas. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stomp on. It's their friggin' MO. Under a steel sky. Similar to the lower city Midgard. Kind of a cool little place, though. It does get somewhat sun. <laughs> Depending on the time of day, I guess. Grab some pointless crafting materials. And here we are. One moment. <clears throat> Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I see plenty of sun. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> she recognizes us. What? Don't judge us. Huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. Barrett's gonna take her out. And be a hundred grand richer for it. Hundred grand? <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I know her. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. What? Half a million? <laughs> Down here, though. And none for we cloud. We know when to turn a blind eye. 
Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. He's like, yeah, we, we kind of hate Shinra. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Liar. I did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Turks. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the yeah, that's where we're going. for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. It's a parade. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. We could take her. Do, 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 do. And there will be consequences. Right. I don't care what she said. There's gotta be black robes around here somewhere. What the heck? So how are we gonna <laughs> where are you going, Barry? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways oh, on yeah. this continent. Chapter I four is a long right chapter. There. Right. Might want to ask around. I hope you guys are strapped in for a long one. Routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through, or got boats for rent or something. We literally split we up for like two seconds. Sounds good. And remember, but whatever. Low profile. All right, it is relationship building time. There's photography mission. Many years ago, so I think you have to talk to all your team. Was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Priscilla's even managed to keep oil. Hey, you see that tree? Wait, maybe we don't have to talk to everybody. Word around town is. Wonder what? If you're looking for them for whatever reason. All right. I think you're supposed to talk to everybody on your team and then you can rest at the end. even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it. Short of stealing a boat and causing a scene. Both us and our black robe free. Hey, there's Chadley. We ain't talking to him. And finally, Tifa. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Storm it! We are recruiting. Alright. It's bedtime. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! What was that? Anybody, that sword. Please. Hater, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Somebody, <laughs> tough guy like me is on the job. We gotta go now. There's a monster. Oh, so in the OG the game. It is Priscilla that you have to do the CPR to, I think. Quickly, please. She's the one that drowned. Oh, hey. We know her. Oh, wait. No, we don't. Question marks. Shh. Da-da. Da da. da 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 Swim! Boy, I taste terrible! Dolphin power! Launches her. Is this dolphin safe? Hey, we're coming. It seems like a terror of the deep as well. Hey, Shinra's most wanted. Get rid of that thing. Say what? Parrot, focus. Don't bust us around. Get its attention. On it. Teamwork.
Splish Splash. Alright! Terror of the Deep. Our first boss fight of the chapter. We're going to want to start this fight off by casting Haste with Cloud. The Magnify version of it, I guess. So the whole party is sped up. And later on in the fight, you're going to want to use Radiant Ward and A to B Boost with Aerith. This fight, you're basically going to want to use your basic attacks with Cloud and Barret. Barret when he's in the air, Cloud when he's down lower. They're all lightning infused attacks. So that's what the Terror of the Deep is weak against. You want to build up those two ATB gauges so you can cast Fundaga. And you're going to want to avoid the water cells as best as you can. At least one party member is going to get trapped in it because they do not dodge. They only block. So yeah, you're going to want to make sure you dodge it. If not, you can try to take out the water cells with your attacks as well. And Aerith is going to be our main healer. She's going to be using a lot of healing spells and chakra. And then you're eventually going to want to bait out the grasping tail and get grabbed depending on who what character is grabbed you're going to want to use the firebolt blade overcharge or thundera to get that person out and pressure terror of the deep you're also going to want to focus on the tail to get easy pressures and uh staggers for phase two with Aerith, you're going to want her to use arcane and radiant wards to uh give you that invincibility when uh, casting Thundaga. And then, yeah, you're basically just gonna wanna cap or spam Thundaga and take it out. Oh, uh, one other note is during the oceanic uh, tornado, you're gonna wanna play as Cloud because sometimes the AI will put him in pressure or punisher mode and he won't, he'll just get KO'd by the tornado. He won't, he won't be moving fast enough to get away from it. So anyways, let's give this boss a good run. <laughs> All right, let's cast the haste on the party here. Switch to Barret. Let's use some... Let's use steel skin here. Try to free her out of that. Bam. Nice little pressure there. Get that stagger. Oh, we didn't get it. So it's my turn? Hang on. Better off with magic. About damn time. Big time. All right, we got cloud free there, so we got to get Aerith out of here. Stagger him. Beauty. Okay, Aerith is going to set up for phase two, so she needs arcane ward. Cloud. I think we'll finish him off. Great. We'll pressure the deep here. I'm gonna do infinity's end. Where is it? There it is. Bear it. Boom. Let's hit Pandanga. Actually, we'll wait. He's about to end his stagger. All right, Aerith. You're gonna need to cure yourself here. No, cure Cloud. There we go. I'm pressured again. All right, Barrett. Cure yourself. Aerith, cure yourself. You know what? Cloud, just hit him with that Thundaga right now. Oh, phase two. Kind of a terrible phase one. Watch the water. Take me. I'll show you what I can do. This one's you can do it. Yeah, I'll do it. 
We'll do Kira on Cloud there. Aerith hits another Radiant Ward. Don't overdo it. That's not good. So it's my turn. Thundera, get Cloud out of there. Can you handle it? I've got this. No Barret. Let's see if we can do a Thundega on there. Thundega on him there as well. Aerith, you're gonna need to heal yourself. Should hopefully stagger it. And now we'll do Barrett. Let's do the limit first. Cloud Punisher mode. Bam! And we defeated it. Oh no, you don't. More dolphin power. White look like a kill shot, but a rainbow. Nice work. Hey, let's check kisses. on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help uh -oh. over here. God, she's so cold. Whew. Uh, that was not a pretty again. attempt at that boss fight, but. We got it. So yeah, like I said earlier, this in the OG game, Maybe you don't meet Yuffie here. Doctor? Yuffie's kind of There's an optional no character that you can get. Um, get so it's Priscilla again. that's needs the CPR right now. Don't just stand there. Help me. Sure. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start. <laughs> uh, I have to touch there. <coughs> he used the force. <laughs> you picked the wrong girl, creep. What? Spunky. This Those is from Intermission. From Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche. The, the DLC from Remake. Policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Uh, nice I will take a thank you, please. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron. A quirky. <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. Time to skedaddle. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Oh, I no. swear. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right. So we still got a lot of chapter four left, but uh, we'll keep these current character builds and party set up for now, I guess. Little Naruto running. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan. So of bouncy. Yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. <laughs> Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. No. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later. Double hand wave. Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But Zoomers. Hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's get ourselves some rooms. Bum, bum, ba -da. All right, these better be free. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Why, thank now you. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <laughs> <laughs> the puppers uh, would like five? his own. Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Yeah, when was that? All right, so here you have a chance to build on your relationships with all your party members. It's open. Here's Barrett. You're going to want to answer with your autograph for the best response. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Your autograph. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Always do this day come. Good thing my a lot of casual players Let me prove it to uh, think that the relationship system is new for Rebirth. I might have even mentioned that in another game, but I completely forgot there's a kind of a unwritten relationship system in the OG game as well. Like Whose voice is that? Straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue. What's I, going on in I here? I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Who's that? Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's you peeping Tom. Me? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. What was that about? Come in. Tune in for a later chapter to find out why. <laughs> Red sounded like that. Uh, all right. I think this is a weapon for Aerith on your first playthrough, but now it's just money. All right. So for Aerith, her you. relationship, but you're going to want to answer like on the, the church, right? Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? Wait, you showed me a flower. You shoved a you flower, shoved a flower at me is actually the correct it's answer. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at 7th Heaven. And I seriously the church doubt is the second time you met her. There. Hey, I mean, you never know. 
some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... And that is it for the party on this floor, I believe. I think this is my room. Yes. Nope, never mind, this is red. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Huh, not good. Huh, not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. All right, Red. His twist makes some of his dialogue seem a little more adorable. Tifa. Oh. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah. Ooh. I... You regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. Booty call attempt number two. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Is this another test? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. And my mom, His I guess. Owned the general store. Right. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... Just like me. Grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, <laughs> so... No, ahead. not really. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll find time to talk. Just yeah, we'll hash this out later. Figure things out. Won't involve Just swinging a sword at you guts, or anything. Huh? Or spilling your guts. With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Spoilers. Cloud gets motion sick, just like Yuffie. I just realized I left my camera on for that whole cutscene. All right, guys. Hope I didn't cover any of the good parts. All right, that's the whole party. Time to nap. Crunches tuckered them out. Also, not good to do crunches on a bed. Should be on more of a solid surface. Come on in, 
But then again, he's the guy in Soldier, I guess. Or is he? <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland this behind. Pretty much the same intro from terror, Integrate, right? And prove that Wutai is not to be trifled with. <laughs> Uh, Wu-Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. Uh-huh. Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done <laughs> some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. Although, that is something we do. Come here. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from so town to town. So you're broke. Hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime and a Fascination. And guess who the target is? Damn, Rhonda. Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus. Rufus. Freaking Shinra. That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their son. Hey, who's that? Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. Oh, wow. Tell Off with more. his head. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey. Hey, thought she wanted us to join her. I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. Now, the now. child you with the dolphin? You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it. Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. All right, time to go see Roach. He's uh one of the remake additions that is carrying over into Rebirth here. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. The mullet is still glorious. <laughs> still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gage. Uh, yeah, I know her. Me? You come alone? <laughs> It only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> All right. Also, I forgot he was also in Integrate. You but I think Yuffie has met that dude as well. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. All right, dolphin child. 
Thanks oh. for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you, the slime ball who sold us out? Take it. Not much, but it's yours. I don't see nothing in that mitt of yours. <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. I think she's like a secret I fighter. For you, Fee, upstairs. All right. And now we get to go up to Upper Judon. Um, so I think there's a bunch of side quests you can start doing right now, too, but we're doing all story and no filler. Let's go find Priscilla and let's play with the dolphin. I guess we do have to do somewhat of a mini game for this. Oh, hey, you guys. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although I hope it includes dolphin it. at some point. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, what a smart how puppy. Are we supposed to get to the controls. High voltage? Yep. It should just say no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what hey. I can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak. I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey. We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never Usually, done it before? children voice actors My arm, your arm, in Final Fantasy yeah. games are so annoying. Oh, gotcha. But Priscilla seems pretty natural and real. <laughs> awesome. All right, then. Like it's not now what? some creepy adult trying to do a kid now voice. Now <laughs> we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. Even though it probably hope, is, be a <laughs> but it does sound like a child. Okay. She Which sounds age appropriate. Go Got you written all over it, Merc. Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Poor Cloud. Never gets to make his own decisions. As I make a decision. Ready. So this is a similar way of getting to the top from the OG game. You don't have to do a whole race, but you do have to time it. And the dolphin does launch you way up there. Women with that sword has got to be real difficult. Come on, Cloud. You got this. All right. Mini game, I guess we have to do, but it's story based mini game. Nope, no point in turning the camera off, I guess. Swim. Oh, you can just skip the skip mini game. All story, no filler. Ta-da! And we're up. <laughs> nice going, man! See that little smirk? That's a little bit of the, the cloud personality coming out. The real cloud, I guess. I should say.
So bright. Everything's blown out. I wonder if the lighting's better on a HDR monitor. Keep some of those details in the highlights. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't, they pay this dolphin way. well. Sure has to do a lot of work around this town. Mm. Hop in, big boy. Another double hand move. <laughs> Dolphin's got some strength too. Everybody wave. Meet you at the top. Meanwhile. That's a huge gun. Hope no one steals that airship later. that dog when we had to beat up in the first game I mean I sort of know what it means but what language is it or is it just English well we're out of here time to find my friends friends ah there you are let's move All right, we got the whole crew here. I don't think there's any fighting now until near the end of the chapter. And I think that's just with Cloud. Okay, time to win that commendation. Wow. Big gun go boom. security than I thought more worried about the parade <laughs> guess things I don't even changed. care we're up here They're anyways just you see personally I think that's a good thing the city's size on the other hand the robed men won't be easy to find they're definitely not here it's literally one street let's head calm town. down red the town we go I like how 
these soldiers just don't even care that we're just wandering around. Any idea what that is? The highway. Highway. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Plus, you got a train crew. Not till part three, Barrett. Skills we don't know about. We're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Where is Tifa, anyways? <laughs> Tifa? That's the ticket. Where the I heck's my the rest place. of my party members? No disturbances to report in Oh there they are. Slow pokes. Oh, this is the wrong elevator. Oh no, this is the right elevator. Is it not? Yeah. That's not a cutscene. Now that's a cutscene. No, we'll leave them be. For now. They've spotted us. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru. Hmm. Who could that be? Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. Hey, I murdered that guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Send in the dead man. Hmm. Kinda dressed like the robed men. Where are your shoes? I thought you were dead. <laughs> Then you thought right. <laughs> uh, okay. This doesn't make sense. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. If they didn't Some want people, people... Don't have the stomach for war. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, and stomach for war. For they the didn't want people to think this was Cloud's father. Why give him? Hey, I'm talking here. Thank A blonde, you. spiky I'm hair. <laughs> but my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> you always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can You want more of Glenn's right. story. Beget I believe desolation hatred they elaborate on his weak, backstory mean, in the mobile game people uh, Final Fantasy 7 and a ever crisis more made I believe it's called what we're doing is for the greater good just got to know when to ease off the gas now listen you stay this remember they seated no more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. 
Shinra has a bright future. Aerodome. My wife is completely obsessed with the new All these people just don't even care are wandering around. So Cloud, what can you tell us about June? It's a key military outpost with its own offshore reactor. A critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and sea ports, make it second only to Midgar's the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? <laughs> uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with a friendly commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it. And make our city proud. Hoo Troopers, you're all on duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. Hoo Red, you just tackle me? Body check me? All right, long ass elevator ride is over. Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance <laughs> around for the new payment. It's gonna be fun, Tifa. <laughs> I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Don't worry, Yuffie's got it. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, what? the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Or maybe we can. Or can we? We bust up his parade. No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's <laughs> crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barrett, Fred, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. You're missing a hand. And the other one's a dog. <laughs> True enough. Shut up. Alright, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Boot up! Right. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? <laughs> yeah. Adorable. Two little troublemakers, those two. Yeah, the OG Attention game. All troopers. It was just Cloud Their that did this can be part. Found here. Please now they're changed. inclusive. The I don't even remember what the rest of the party was now doing. We're talking. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. 
three steps back, if you please. <laughs> feet! The feet are there again! Alright. Let's get Cloud his own uniform. Hello, old friend. Been a while. Part. Maybe, but don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, all right? Do what I do. Another survival vest. Hey, lady. Hold it. We've been caught. Also, you, the their uniforms. Thing. But I don't recall seeing the three of you at practice. Uh oh. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sir. <laughs> like, whoa, You're Cloud. Sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you, maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth. <laughs> now Slow down, Cloud. Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Uh -oh. Sir! <laughs> Why do they run like that? Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out of practice. That was a terrible whistle. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up, and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear. They're like the name drop, the the bad guys, the fiends or whatever. I guess they're just called monsters in this, aren't they? Let's see what you've got. Now, begin. Mini game. I like how Tifa and Aerith just caught on so easily. good oh you can't see there's my score practice more now we're good precise clean movements impeccable timing she likes us i must say you've impressed me 
Hell yeah. As a sterling example to the others, ma'am. Congratulations. You are hereby promoted to promotion captain of Midgar's first day on the job. Infantry. You will be our model trooper. See that little to march at the facial expression. Drill team. I was quite excited about Which that promotion. That performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now Almost like you never got that. Ma'am. Parade, Captain. You will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larbor Junon. You will recall that to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the seventh Brassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Aye, ma aye, ma'am. All right, time to recruit. Let me see the map here. Um, okay. So, you need to... Uh, well, I think you only need five uh, crews to uh, compete. Uh, if you want to get ten... Or if you want to get the trophy, you got to get all 10. So you got one group is right around here. Uh, your next group is right around here. There's another one right here. There's another one over here. Uh, five is here. Uh, over here on the third floor, there's group six. Uh, third floor right here there's group seven group eight is on the second floor basement floor there's a crew in here and on the second floor up here is your final one um if you wanted to pause <laughs> pause the video and uh go back and look for those Boy, that's where they all are lucky. hey you sure about this is the parade really gonna get us to rufus the parade won't but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. Ah. The president himself gives the award. Wow. That's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home. We can do right? it. <laughs> so, let's try to speed run grabbing all these infantry. Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgard, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. They're so adorable. Alright, we'll grab the first crew up here. Hey, guys. Squad, we're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh, um, I, uh, captain. Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Their uh, <laughs> little break was cut short. That giant gun's just for show. All right, straight across. Hello. We have. Crew sir, number welcome two. Back, sir. Welcome back, sir. All right, right here, taking a picture Ooh, of Rufus. Timing, Captain. Would you mind taking the picture so I can get in? Cloud, the photographer. Whenever you're ready, sir. All right, let's cut off Rufus's head. Thanks a bunch. Oh, Absolutely wow. terrible photo. This is this is really something, sir. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir. All 
All right, and I think there's another crew. No, yeah, the next crew's in here. Hey, hmm? well, let me guess. You're here for the limited model too? Check the helmet, you dipshit. Oh, Captain, please forgive me, sir. Break time's over. Outside, now. Right, right away, away, sir. sir. Do, 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 do. All right, crew number four. This is probably the best one. Best little cutscene in this game coming up. Who's that? Is that? Is that rude? What's he doing over here? Well, fancy handshake going on. Very fishy. <laughs> Very fishy indeed. Let's check it out. All right, I gotta just let this one play out. people unite well what are you waiting for unless are you three mop heads wait he's our new <laughs> captain he didn't know <sighs> sir this place is for the clean shaven you need to prove that you belong or leave Arnar's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir, right away, sir. What are they doing, getting drunk before the parade, anyways? Hey, if you want to drink here, the helmet has to go. All right, all right, I'm out. I was not shaving that spiky, beautiful hair of his. Cool, cool, cool. All right, next crew is in here. Um, can I help you, Captain? Guys, quick! Attention! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir. All right, that's enough to do the mini game, but uh, I'll show you guys where the rest are. Uh, so six, group six is on the third floor of this building here. Hi. Hey, oh, Captain, perfect timing. I'm picking out a present for my girlfriend. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. RR's over, people. Seven. Outside. Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. The vibes. I love how understated everything is here. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, there's red being bothered nice by children. Uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. That is some yeah. nose you got there, Red. Leaving the Mako-soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. Want a treat? <laughs> Want a treat? Best of luck um, okay, so the next building, I believe, is this one, right? Uh, nope, too far. Sorry, if we want to go in here first. We got crews seven and eight here on the second floor and third floor. How 
excited. Uh, excuse me, but we're in the middle of an interview. Oh. Uh, good day, Captain. Uh, oh, you're their captain. This is perfect. If you have a moment, I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, sorry, but... How do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? We, uh... Whoa. Right, I see what you mean, Captain. We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Sir! Just completely ruined her interview. Oh yeah, this guy's funny. Hiding back here. I think you can talk to him somehow too. I swear nothing. There it is. My blood pumping, like hiding in the barracks when I'm on duty. <laughs> and for crew number eight. It's past time the not now, buddy. We're busy. Oh, Captain, I didn't realize. Sorry, sir. Practice is over. Time for the real deal. With me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Do, 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 do. do a little looting here. Items we cannot use. Uh, okay, so we got two crews left. So we'll go back down to street level. Look at that. Look at this crew. Alright, we got a crew in the basement here. Call me biased if you wish, but. I believe our fleet formation is the pinnacle of perfection. I don't know. The Grenade... Uh, Captain! Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh... That depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! sir. Yes, yes, sir! There are some people online that like to claim that this formation is how they killed Zack in the OG game. Or I guess Crisis Court as well, too. You can kind of see it, but... Anyways, next. The final crew. <clears throat> is uh at the bar sorry the fancy bar i think this is is this a turk bar oh maybe not so yeah but i know elaine is here can we help you we're kind of in the middle of something check the helmet oh, captain I, I didn't i'm sorry sir break time's over outside now Yes, sir! And just for a little bit of story, here's Elena drowning her sorrows. Talk about humiliating. Rude probably hates me. Boss must want to fire me. I always thought... I thought she was more of a teenager when my first playthrough, but she's sitting at the bar having a drink. Got, gotta be at least 21 then, right? <laughs> I don't know. What's the drinking age in, in <laughs> Final Fantasy VII? Uh, okay, so we got our whole crew. We can go do... Oh, here they all are. What's up, everybody? Bloody check. Back in formation. Ready to go, sir. Oh, wait. Before we do that. 
Look who found himself a uniform. Is that who I think it is? Nice butt. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh, hey there. Uh, I was just checking my uniform. Uh, for Lynn. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. <laughs> Ha ha, very funny. Not that funny, Tifa, Aerith. You. you look... What? Wow. <laughs> also, your hands are hooked right now, Barrett. Nothing else you ain't shoot nobody. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I checked out the way to the port. And y'all, uh... Look like you're fitting in. Yeah. He's judging us. Nobody's batted an eye. We're gonna win the president's commendation. I was like, I'm a captain now, too. I'm sure you will. Think you mean I'm rooting for you. And that is it. We're running around Junon. Midgard, 7th Infantry. Reporting is ordered, ma'am. And on time. Good. The parade is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain. As ever, <laughs> ready as ever, ma'am. Midgar, seventh ah, infantry. what a fine-looking group of soldiers! Ready to dance? You're on. Speech! Give a speech! Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. <laughs> Good line. And we, uh. And we cannot, we will not let our great city of Midgar down. Failure is not an option. It's a big ask, but we can do it together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory. So long as we follow. Well, I'm inspired. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. And we will return home as champions. Now he's getting into it. Who's going to show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! The parade's about to start. <laughs> cool it, Cloud. Answer. Of course. He's like, that's what I signed up for. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? He don't care. It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. That window looks that, filthy, by the way. Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. Damn. Yeah. This way. Welcome to the celebration of the century. 
Hi. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here comes Midgar's oh, mobile unit. That guy. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. I think this is like the only car you see in the game. There he is, folks. Rufus Shinra. Wow, can you even hear me over this crowd? I guess there, there's some cars in remake, but I don't think you ever uh, see him driving the around. The president has stopped. Wasn't kidding. That thing is dusty. Ready to fire, sir. Pacow. Welcome Pacow. to the new world order. No one heard that. Fire! All right, they might have heard that. Ladies and wow, gentlemen. Wow, you killed fish. With a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. <sighs> Glenn. You join us in Starboard Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar's 7th Infantry. The captain and his team hey, hey, that's me. Hard, determined to win the president. I don't know if you can skip this or not. Everyone back home in and I don't know what cutscene you get I if you do skip it. I can't wait to see what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers of the 7th Infantry, make us proud. Left face. Oh, First I never sequence. changed my formation. Oh, shoot. I didn't change my formation. <laughs> So I can't even get the perfect win anyways. Or skip it. Oh, that's going to cost them. Yeah, I totally totally blanked on that. Yeah, there's a formation you have to set up. After you get all of your, your troops. Begin! Movements are so crisp and clean. What a performance! Thanks, reporter. That practice is paying off. Ifrit formation, difficulty two star. That concludes the first part of today's performance by the Seventh Infantry Drill Team. Ooh, Our judges are currently the tabulating the votes from you, the viewers. And here they are now. Frankly, I'm all So this definitely won't be away. a trophy-worthy performance. Folks here but... seem to agree. The crowd is loving it. The only question is how they're going to top this. We'll do our best. Left. Face. Formation change. It's good, but they can surely do better. Yeah, we're working on it. Final sequence. Begin. Dude. They're not in step. Oh no. So far, so good. Practice makes perfect. Dang it. They've still got a chance. Thanks. They don't seem very Ow. coordinated. 
Shut up, lady. <laughs> and with that, that was the terrible. Infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, They're our judges have been TV. busy tallying all the votes we've received. So I think you need at least at 60 thousand to get the trophy. Clearly, there were a few moments when they weren't quite Likes. in sync, but I could just be making that number up. But for some reason, I thought that number just <laughs> pops out to They're me. setting the stage for an impressive finale. Drill team, halt! First sequence, begin! Solid work. That was hard to see with the lighting. They did practice, Formation, right? Shut up, lady! This is looking promising. Such excellent direction. You're watching history Final in sequence. the making, folks. Begin. I can't take my eyes off them. She kind of sounds like the King of Queens lady. The wife in King of Queens. Ooh, only one bad. And with that, we've reached the end of the seven <laughs> infantry's performance. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. For the final time, the judges are tallying the votes for you, the viewers. If it's 100,000, you have to get. Let's see the results. Whatever, I think we lost. Listen to that crowd. Judging by this response, it's clear that Midgar's 7th Infantry has made a lot of new fans. There's no denying it, folks. That was a performance for the ages. Coming up next, the moment of truth for our competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> He's like, uh, what the fuck? We're still in here. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. Turk's got a pretty cool theme song. My friends, allow me to congratulate you on a stirring performance. You've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question. And I know our president can't wait to thank you all. Of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. Yeah, that's not going to be me. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Midgar's mobile unit. Yeah, if you if you change the formation and you get pretty much close to perfect, you get this award. And the trophy. Come on up, Commander. He needs a win every once in a while, okay? We're gonna kick his ass later.
Next, we have the President's commendation. If you would do the honor, sir. The late President, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer Screw that into guy. the greatest company the world Boo. has ever seen and transformed all the lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite Mako's you to killing join the earth. in a moment of silence for a great man. God I'm never going to shut up. He sucked. And yes, I am a child. In challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young, too inexperienced to lead us. But to them and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We it's weird that like instead this to the company of tomorrow for today just like runs everything. It's like if Amazon just took over the U.S. or something, which we must take or took today. over North America. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This Maybe in the I future. I solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company, my friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. I wouldn't trust that guy. I'd throw a ninja star, a giant ninja star, right at his head. Now, I have a commendation to present. The award goes to. I wonder if you just completely fail the parade. Midgar's seventh. If you still get infantry. this. Or if it just makes you redo the parade over again. The real Cloud is so impressed with himself right now. Accept this award on behalf of the team. Three of the best will now join me. Come on up. <laughs> the rest of the troops are like, hey, wait, wait, why, why are they going up but not us? Why them but not me? Those two just joined. Salute. Your I guess he's a captain. That makes sense. But nothing short of incredible. Midgar's Seventh Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations! <laughs> Yay! Woo! Nice work, crew. Uh oh, I have Mike's a few off. Private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir, you, you're on crowd control. <laughs> that ain't right. Bird's like, hey. Excuse me, <laughs> need to get through. Barrett, over there. <gasps> that cameraman's a ninja in disguise. Of all the times. I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class blown. performance. One worthy. Is that a jab? A soldier. Oh, that was a jab. Oh, you. 
Stand down. But, sir! Heidegger, not as smart. A little Naruto running. You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why. Oh, so you found out I wasn't I in soldier, eh? For you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided That's attention. That's a spoiler, by the way. My bad. <laughs> the city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. <laughs> he said duty. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent. That's the you, Aerith. of a stolen lab specimen. And, That's of course, red. the arrest and execution of Avalanche. That's you, Tifa and Barrett. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance cool. from Midgar, that is. No more stirring I going back the there. proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? You mean nothing because to me. Because I have a new vision for Shinra. That was a pleasure so way of saying free. it. And you get Sephiroth dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory oh. relic of our past. You're working again now, Cloud. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. You're hired. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever oh, you. Oh, in my own mind. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. Seems like a good way. It's Yuffie time. She's got her uh, intermission outfit on or intergrade, whatever you want to call it. Dun, 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 dun. Just doing some random climbing. Shit. I don't see little Miss Ninja anywhere. Do you? No, but you can't have gone far. Up, up, up. up. Almost there. Alright. I'm to throw a giant ass ninja star. Should have probably just brought a Look, gun. Up there. Oh no. Don't do it now. Ourselves what do I have to hit? Oh, Only X. If you can honor it. No one comes for us. Not Take Hojo, not the Turks. You no know one. you can do this. You have my word. <laughs> Here goes. All right, Rufus, time to lose your head. Never mind. Gotcha. Stop! Oh, get down! <laughs> That would have been a throat shot. Oh. 
Get over here! Ah, uh, so that's your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You had your chance. Sir, please! Listen to reason! Sweep the rooftops now! Don't let them get away! Yuffie, that was her, right? Yep. What do we do? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> She's on her own. Hey! What happened to Rufus? Long gone. Shit. So what now? I saw one of the robed men. He was headed for the port. Let's follow him. Place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Throw him off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! They just don't care at all about Yuffie either. Get going. Hey, where did you get that? Sir, your orders. Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Larboard Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. I guess Go join the search. sort of cares about you, but... If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Damn. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. Uh-oh. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar's 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Idiots. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. The whole Shinra army Good falls point. apart <laughs> but you because of three us, stolen uniforms. Like we trust you. We'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest in Larbor Juna. Autobots, got it? roll out. Yes, sir. All right, for the next boss, Cloud will be doing a one on one fight against Roach, uh, or Roche, whatever you want to pronounce it. But, anyways, the build for that fight. We're going to be using the Igneous Saber again, Cetrin Armlet, Full Throttle Wrist Guards. It's all the same from the first fight. The Materia, we're going to use Elemental, and we're going to switch it up from Lightning is what it was before. Now it's going to be on Fire, because most of the Shinra guys are all human, and they're all weak to Fire. And same with Roche. HP up, MP up, Steadfast Block, Precision Defense, and we're switching to Bahamut as our summon. Next up, we have more elemental, and this is for lightning and wind. So Cloud will hopefully absorb some of that and not take as much damage from lightning and wind-based attacks. Uh, also have magic efficiency with healing, so you can heal the five Shinra soldiers that you have on your team, as well as himself in the boss fight. Uh, you also want some strength up, A to B stagger material, enemy skill materia and chakra so you can heal without using your mp and for the weapon skills we have stalwart punisher max hp plus 200 unrelenting punisher and finally limit gauge stagger so that's our build and i'll go over the details of the actual boss fight once we get there and let's get into it um i do believe this is a new weapon on your first playthrough but money on the second um oh shoot we used mp i should have rested before we came to junon using a cushion and a chocobo rest let's do this the captain needs us Thanks for the potion. 
before we kill these guys, we're going to try to use a lot of chakra to get our health back. do another chakra and then hit him with firebolt blade nothing to it why are you still shooting what are you still shooting for so yeah you get better rewards the more guys you keep alive where are the other units sir up ahead come on yes sir but hard mode obviously you cannot use items so you cannot heal your, your crew there. Except for using actual cure. I think these guys give you stuff. Maybe not. That's correct. Oh wait. We'll skip this dialogue and thank you for an item I cannot use. You're going to want to destroy as many boxes as you can in hopes of getting your MP back. Another chakra. No time to celebrate. Oh, I was going to try to hit a shocker quick before he died. You don't think the enemy is infiltrated the seven, do you? Never doubt your brothers. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can avoid any of these fights, but Those for yourself, boys. Spent sixty nine MP right now. How many guys we got left? This guy, that guy, and this guy. Oh, almost lost his troop. We're gonna have to use a cure. On this this ends here. We hit both? Nope, just the one. Uh, hit that chakra again. All right, guys, stop shooting. Mm. No MP recovery there. I 
think they just give you items, but I can't use them anyways, so we'll just head up. I think there's somewhat of a tough fight to do right here. Yeah. Easy. Hands where I can see him. Soldier here. Hit that stagger. There we go. I don't remember if there's another That was it. Okay. Perhaps it's time we return to Larbor Junon, sir. Indulge me, trooper. Yes, sir. There goes all my magic. Covered some there, not a lot. These things, I hate fighting them. Wait, it's weak to fire? Oh, it's weak to fire, ice. <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> and wind. That is the last 
of the fighting with you guys. Oh, that heals the troops too. Good to know. Except we're done with them anyways. Roller dome? You really ought to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> My quarry has cast you aside. How tragic. <laughs> Should you guys be working? <laughs> Fans of yours? <laughs> Fans of ours. Didn't you know? You and I. Bunch, bunch of soldiers we beat up in the first game. I got this, sir. Oh, isn't it exciting? The two of us together again at long last. Picture it a duel to end all duels. Are we fighting or what? <laughs> Cloud just chops them in half right now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Let's not forget the lights! <laughs> Actors, to your marks! Theater kids, am I right? Come, unleash your passion. Succumb to your instincts. Let us revel in a turbocharged twist! All right. <clears throat> okay, for the Roach fight, a little different than normal mode. Hard mode, he casts Reflect, like right away, as well as after he gets staggered. So it's not really practical to use fire magic on him, since he's just gonna cast it or reflect it back at you. And it, like he's a lot faster too, so you don't really have the time to cast the magic. So you're gonna wanna rely on the fire that's equipped to the sword to exploit that weakness. For parrying his attacks, instead of, normally you'd use your, uh, your R1 to block or parry but for this fight we're gonna use the mode switch so from switching from from your regular operator mode to your punisher mode by just pressing triangle it'll also do like a parry but you're not gonna want to stay in punisher mode because you're off the a lot slower so as soon as you use triangle to switch mode to parry and then switch back and then do your attacks that way if i fully leveled up the other elemental that i have on my armor i would basically use his lightning to heal myself but i have not leveled it up fully so it's just gonna do less damage but but yeah, that's basically the attack. So you're going to want to save up your ATB gauge for when he's staggered. And you're going to want to use your infinity end then. But other than that, yeah, just triangle to parry and uh, rinse and repeat. And that's basically the strat for Roche. All right, let's do it. All right, there's the reflect. Oops, I missed my first dodge. Boom, there's the first one. Or sorry, parry. All right, he's gonna be spamming some high voltage here. If uh, this elemental material I was using was fully leveled up, that would have healed. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get that one. We're gonna use one chakra right now to heal. Mm. 
Let's do this. Get ready. Need him to charge us. There we go. Bam! Pressure. High voltage. He's recasting his reflect. Bam! Staggered. And we can hit the infinity end pretty much right away. Bam! Look at that huge chunk of health. Punisher mode to get another ATB back. Might use that for a chakra. A little bit of healing. The chakra is a lot faster than casting cure. By the way, that's why I haven't been using cure. That and my MP is a little low. Are you not entertained? All right, phase two. Bam, there's a nice parry. Ooh, he hit us with it. Okay, we gotta get out of there. We're gonna wanna chakra up. Might even need two of them. What is he doing? Never again. Charge. and that should finish him off let's do a limit break just to make it fancy get him didn't even give me a bite this time I ain't your friend, buddy. I ain't your buddy. Ow. I don't actually remember the lines from South Park, but something like that. <laughs> was ours alone ladies and gentlemen i give you your champion i was like i'm gonna feel so bad killing you guys later <laughs> your journey here was a rather arduous one it would seem if your troops had shown any less valor, I dare say you may not have made it at all. Well done, 7th Infantry. 
To honor your efforts, I present your captain a gift. Here. Gonna hold my hand? One single potion? It's a terrible gift. That's your cue to exit. Yonder elevator that helps will too. take you down. Head to your ship. You sure? I'll be right behind you. Little kiss back, Cloud. Suit yourself. Did we make a friend? <clears throat> Anyways. There's lots of loot to grab in this room. This is also where you can recover all your Mako on normal playthrough. I feel like you get less Mako recovery on hard mode. Lots of stuff to grab. None of it I need. I think we're pretty much done this chapter. I think we just got to regroup. Say goodbye to these people. All right, we got zero MP back from all those boxes. All right, bye troops. You guys had Lardboard without me. Oops, I'm missing one. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... A jackass. Without now a bike know, now. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? You guys are so needy. Or, are you the assassin everyone's looking for? <gasps> they got smarter? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. Oh, hey, bye. We They're know the still dumb. Young woman, just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir. It's okay. At ease. You guys are idiots. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. I had the wrong formation, okay? I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met, but... The seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. Will we see each other again, sir? Never! Count on it. Or maybe. <laughs> Bye, bros. I'll miss you. Where's my old crew at? There they are. Ah, slow ass lift elevators. All right. Let's get on a boat. Back yet? <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Great. Made some friends. Now then. then I beat them up. Then I ditched them. Keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right, next. They're screening passengers. How'd that what rogue now? man get a ticket? We try the back door. That's what she said. Can I help you? Yeah, I like your mustache. We are the winners of the president's commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The commander in chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the president's a busy man. Those guys with you too? What a little <laughs> liar she Where'd is. Where'd they come from? Captain, sorry, but you're needed on deck. The fight's broken out. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of bigwigs on board. As for you, back to work. Nice, sir. Regretting this sexy outfit All now, right, eh, Barrett? Dog stays in the hold. Got it. Hey. Play along. 
Wait, I just noticed. No, wait. Red doesn't stay in the hold. <laughs> I was like, do you see red wandering around? But yeah, you do. All clear. Pull her up. Or wait. Maybe you don't see him until he's in disguise. I have a ticket. Come on, man. You can't leave We'll find me. out next chapter. I'm a passenger, goddammit. Billy. Don't turn Kyrie. Or Kyrie. Worst day ever. All right. We'll watch the chapter five cutscene and then uh, I'll probably be it. The boat was definitely not this fancy in the OG game. And definitely uh, no one from Midgar was on the boat. Well, that Nudie was bitches. Hard. The air is different here, isn't it? Compared to Midgar, very different indeed. Though perhaps a little sharp for my taste. Sharp air? I don't understand. If they're so rich, why do they live in the undercity of Midgar and not on top? <laughs> not bad. Time for a little reconnaissance. Good job staying in the hold, Red. He's like, damn it. Maybe I should have stayed in the hold. Ever see that Faz guy again? No. Well, yeah, that, that Faz guy is the dude that helped Aerith and her mom escape Shinra. I bet. I'm here if you want to talk. I don't think he gets mentioned. Well, actually, anywhere else, I though. was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Hmm? Boys. Oh, that kind. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> it's like, what are you two still doing in those uniforms? Meeting adjourned for now. <laughs> what are you two so gossiping about? Top? All the robes are in second class. Haven't seen any sign of Shinra, though. We can ditch the uniforms. Aww. Well, it's been an honor, Captain. Captain. Hey, about this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I know it's off, thanks to little Miss Ninja's stunt. But personally, I think she did us a favor. Nothing good I mean, ever we're still going to be doing deals with the devil. exactly what Shinra can't be Rufus trusted, wanted us no to do. Who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. Those sea cans are not we're stacked properly. That's Sol, dangerous. And expect to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of I don't know if I have to do the, the tournament or not. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on. 
I guess I can show you guys my winning strategy next chapter next video And that will be it for chapter four. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, do all the stuff that helps out on the YouTubes. Um, and be sure to have notifications on and be on the lookout for chapter five. And hopefully you guys have already watched chapters one through three. I don't know why you would start with four. That's kind of a weird <laughs> episode to start on. But anyways, I'm blabbering on. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys rock. Mean it. Bye.